the new constitution ratified 7 August 2008 incorporates key recommendations designed to strengthen the judiciary for the more detail about the establishment of the Supreme Court for the first time. And in the creation of an independent judicial service commission to oversee the appointment and demonstration uh, of judges. And the creation of the post of prosecutor general. The small list has a three tier system of the court administration of justices. The lower courts, which include at least one magistrate court in uh, each inhabited island, as well as four specialized courts which sits in Mare, the capital. The criminal court, the civil court, the family court, and the juvenile court. The high court here uh, appears from these lower courts, but also here cases in the first instances we are prescribed by law or uh, in acceptable circumstances. The Supreme Court, which is the final authority on the interpretation of the Constitution, the law or any other matter dealt with the courts of law. The Supreme Court of Maldives is headed by the Chief Justice, which is the head of the judiciary. Supreme Court consists of seven judges, including the Chief Justice, who is the head of the judiciary, appointed by the President with the approval of the Parliament. So the Supreme Court in Maldives is, is a very initialist test. Uh, so it has many challenges ahead of it. So uh, I also would like to highlight some of the provisions of the Maldivian new constitution. The Maldivian constitution recognizes that all the powers of the state of Maldives are derived from and remain with the citizens. Also, the constitution provides for fundamental rights and freedoms. One can expect from any modern liberal constitution. It guarantees rights not only to citizens but also to all persons, except, of course, some rights are rightly confined to the citizens. Restrictions on fundamental discrimination in respect of rights and freedoms on the grounds of race, national, origin, color, sex, birth, etc. is prohibited. Equality, equal protection, and equal benefit of laws, as well as right, life, liberty, and security of persons, is conferred on every individual and not confined to citizens. The state is affiliated with the fundamental duty to protect and preserve the environment, etc., for the benefit of present and future generations. Large number of economic and social rights, basic needs and welfare measures are provided in, in the Constitution uh, uh, on fundamental rights for the state to realize progressively by adopting reasonable measures within its ability and resources. Right of privacy is expressly provided as an independent fundamental right. Every adult citizen has a right to vote in an election as well as in the referendum to run for public office and to take part in conduct of public affairs. Media has been given a specific fundamental right of freedom, even <coughs> media has been protected from disclosure of source of information. Workers include including non citizens are given various rights including right to protest and strike, right of children, elderly and disadvantaged persons are protected. Obligation of the state to provide free primary and secondary secondary education to everyone. And
and opportunity for higher education to be made in the access to all citizens. Various important rights of workmen are protected on the basis of international standards. Every citizen is conferred inviolable, inviolable right to acquire and all properties, private property can be acquired by state only for the public poor as expressed by law and as authorized by order of the courts. Subject to payment of fair and adequate compensation is determined by the court. Every administrative action has to be lawful, procedurally fair and expeditious. The affected person has a right to get <coughs>
Justice Sahib. I will say only for two minutes because I had the reasons to visit different courts throughout the world. And I have seen the working of the judiciary in many countries. I can safely say that our judiciary is working very hard for the betterment of the public at large in the given situation. There are different working conditions in different countries. We can't equate, we can't have the appointment of judges throughout world on one pattern. Because the mentality of the local people are different. In some countries, there is no situation that false complaints are being lodged against the judges. I have seen in like India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nepal, when we are going to appoint some judge and the people, if the lawyers come to know that the government or the judiciary is going to appoint such and such person as a high court judge or as a judge of the Supreme Court, so many false complaints will start pouring in before the appointing authority. There are certain countries where such system is not there. Like US, there will be public debate. But the allegations will be put when a person has done something really wrong. So, there are many appointment commissions in some countries like us while Russian communist countries, we have appointment commission. They appoint the judges, they take disciplinary action and they remove. And all the members of the appointment committee are being appointed by the government in power. So, in that part of the world, judiciary has to work under some pressure from the government. Because at any moment they can be turned out from the judicial it out in India. It is very difficult. In Pakistan, the military government tried to remove Justice Yatkar Mohammad Chaudhary, who was the Chief Justice, who is today the Chief Justice, because the entire world stood with him. The bar and the judges from different parts of the world stood that judiciary's powers have to be maintained and no military ruler can throw out a good judicial officer. Hitkar Mohammad Chaudhary is also our Vice President of International Council of Jurists. So, like in US, here you are having in UK the appointment commission. There are different systems. We have to see the local situation. Because here, mostly people are not lodging false complaints. Because they know the meaning of lodging false complaints. The situation now, accountability, how 